Today we're painting J. Leo. What you want to do first is tone your paper so it can already have a fleshiness to it. Then after that you want to build in your shape and your form. Shape and form is important because it's going to help you be anatomically correct. As you can see on the screen, I am messing up. Okay, I understand it now. If you start the rendering process too early like I did by putting in harder, harsher information, all you got to do is just rebuild the shape and the form. You can't be scared to start over. And that's exactly what I did. My eyebrows and forehead were way too short. I need to make them longer. So I came back with a mixture of flesh tones and shadows and just push them up more. This is even more important if you're using a reference image that is smaller than your surface. In the video, everything is one to one. But in reality, my reference image was one fourth the size of the surface that I'm painting on. And that's probably even worse for most of us. We paint off of a cell phone and cell phones are very small. By default, getting shape and form correctly, that will help you with likeness. And now it's starting to look like Jalia when I get those things built in correctly. Now we can start working on the background. When you work on the background and the foreground together, that will help you figure out when your image is done sooner. For me, photorealism isn't necessary to have a dynamic image. All I wanna do is get a likeness. After that, I'ma let the way that I render and use mark making to create a dynamic image. You know it's my image. So, it's up to you. How hard do you really wanna work? Some people feel cool making ovals. No nose, no eyes, no lips. If you like it, I love it, honey, but that ain't gonna do. The real question is when people see this, are they invested to look at it and figure out what it is? Or can they walk by it and go, hmm, a oval face? We wanna have a mixture of trying, but not copying a photo. Otherwise, we just look at a photo. Uh, well, guys, that's my time. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Praise the Lord.